And late developments from Washington now. The president speaking just a short time ago, thanking Congress for approving and funding his plan to fight ISIS, training moderate Syrian rebels on the ground. And it comes just as we learn of an intercepted phone call that might have stopped an ISIS terror attack. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross now. Hundreds of Australian police moved out today under the cover of darkness. At least 15 suspects arrested and more being urgently sought in an ISIS plot that stunned this country. Innocent civilians were to be chosen at random and then publicly beheaded on the streets of Sydney. This is not just suspicion, uh, this is intent. As in the US, Australia has become increasingly alarmed about efforts to recruit its young citizens by jihadists. Uh, welcome to Islam. In particular, after news reports that the man in the green shirt, a one-time Sydney nightclub bouncer turned jihadist, has now become a senior ISIS leader in Syria. Officials fear he has the power to order attacks by Australians who never even made it to Syria. At the same time today, the ISIS propaganda machine surfaced another of its Western hostages. British journalist John Cantley, forced to read a three-minute script as a kind of spokesman for the benefits of ISIS. You're thinking, he's only doing this because he's a prisoner. He's got a gun at his head, and he's being forced to do this, right? Well, it's true. I am a prisoner. This is the second time Cantley has been held hostage in Syria. He was captured two years ago and then escaped, only to be captured a second time, traveling with American journalist James Foley, who was executed last month. David. Right. Brian Ross on the ISIS threat again tonight. Brian, thank you.